In this video we're going to consider how to construct a histogram. Now a histogram is a type of uh, chart that you would come across at GCSE level uh, and for GCSE level we said that the area of each bar in the histogram is equal to the frequency. Now often at A level that is going to be your best choice as well but it, it doesn't actually have to be equal to the um, area. It just needs to be proportional to the area. And sometimes you're going to get questions that um, involve that specifically. But in this case, we're just going to use um, the frequency being equal to the area. So I'm going to calculate something called frequency density. Um, and that is calculated by doing a frequency divided by the class width. And that is going to be the vertical scale on my histogram. So I've got to be a little bit careful here of the actual class interval. So though it says 12 to 14 in this first group, um, if I consider the second group, that's actually 15 to 17. So the, the midway between those two groups is actually halfway between 14 and 15. So it's actually 14.5. Uh, and a similar um, measure is going to be needed at either end of each of these groups. So my class width for the first category actually goes from 11.5 to 14.5 so I'm going to do 7 divided by 3 so 7 being the frequency and 3 being the class width to give me uh, 2.33 and then if I repeat this uh, procedure for my other values I'm going to find um, each of these and then finally two there so my frequency density is all ranged between one and two uh, to a third or 2.33 so I'm now going to actually draw up a set of axes and ideally we'd have graph paper for this um, I'm going to do it uh, just on this line paper for now it's going to be a little bit crude but because these are all thirds I can uh, use my scale in such a way that uh, I, I can account for that a little bit better. So along the bottom here, um, I don't need to start at zero because my first value is, is actually at um, 11.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that this is 11 um, and I'm going to go 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, plus a little bit more there. So that's going to represent 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, and 25. So the midway between each of those are going to be the even numbers. And I haven't started uh, at zero, so I'm just going to do the little zigzag at the front to represent that. So at the side I've got frequency density. Um, so if I have one and then two and then three, then each of these lines in between represents a third. going to label that as frequency density and here I have my values of x um, which I have an unspecified uh, a measure here so it's just called x so now I can start my histogram so the first one so it begins at 11.5 um, and it goes up to 14.5 and that's two and a third so 14.5 is here And then 11.5 is here. So the next one goes from there to 17.5, uh, and that's up to one and two thirds. And then from 17.5 to 20.5 is 
1.33, so it's one and a third. And then finally from there up to 23.5, and that is up to two. And now I have a completed histogram.